A Conservative MP resigns from the Parliamentary Party. He's accused of taking cash for questions. When our investigation was made public weeks later, Patrick Mercer... Okay. I have to say thank you. It's a generous offer. Um, and Lord Laird. I think as a client wants an APPG, we're going to want the board. Both quit their parties. For the moment, Mr Mercer will remain a Member of Parliament, although he will be standing down at the next election. Ultimately, Westminster should have tighter rules, but the biggest sanction would actually be their electorates holding to account, and if necessary, their electorates being able to sack them and, help and elect a new MP. The activities of two other Labour peers have also been exposed by the Sunday Times. Both deny any wrongdoing. All four parliamentarians caught up in the new sleaze allegations referred themselves to the Parliamentary Commissioners for Standards and the Speaker announced that he is suspending 80 parliamentary passes connected with all party groups. In a sudden about turn, the government announced it would, after all, bring forward a bill to create a statutory register of lobbyists as early as next month. But calls still remain for further sanctions against those who break parliamentary rules. It's our House of Commons, it's our democracy. You look at the House of Commons, it belongs to us, the people. And yet various corporate interests, parasitical interests, have managed to wheedle their way in there. It really shows that there's going to have to be another root and branch examination of how we can gain ethical standards of the highest order from our members of parliament. Mr Mercer's questions for cash about Fiji were answered within days. A Foreign Office minister replied, but it's not great news for my fictitious client. The government's still concerned about the human rights abuses in Fiji. So what seems certain is Fiji won't be returning to the Commonwealth anytime soon. And unless David Cameron finally takes action, this won't be the last lobbying scandal. Waiting to happen.